In this video, I'm going to show you how to make some integration by parts problems easier using complex numbers instead. To use complex numbers to solve this integral, we're going to start off by expressing the inside as the imaginary part of some number. We'll make that number e to the 2x times cos x plus i sine x. This way, we can simplify the inside a bit using Euler's formula. So that's e to the 2x times e to the ix. And then we can simplify it a little bit more by multiplying through. It's the imaginary part of e to the 2 plus ix dx. And now we can bring the imaginary um, operation outside of the integral. It's the imaginary part of the integral e to the 2 plus i x dx, and we can go ahead and evaluate the integral. It's the imaginary part of 1 over 2 plus i e to the 2 plus i x, and then uh, we'll just have a plus c at the very end. All right, so now we just need to simplify what's inside of here and take the imaginary part. And to make simplifying get a little bit faster, um, we're going to notice that this is the same as what we had earlier up here. Um, so we can just substitute this in for this expression. And we'll do it up here. This is the imaginary part of e to the 2x times cos x plus i sine x all over 2 plus i, and then plus c at the end. Um, so to simplify this, we're going to multiply by the conjugate to minus i on the top and the bottom, and then we'll have, uh, we'll just go ahead and multiply it through. So there's the 2 cos x plus 2i sine x, and then there's a minus i cos x, and then a minus i squared sine x. But that's really like minus of minus one, so just a plus sine x. All right, and that's all over the difference of squares. Two squared is four, and then um, minus negative one, uh, so it's really plus one, and then all that plus c, and then we can simplify even more. We'll, we'll take the imaginary part, um, so we just care about this part and that part inside of the sum here. And then we get e to the 2x times 2 sine x minus cos x over 5 plus our constant. And then that is the value of this integral. Here's a bit of a trickier example, uh, but we're going to approach it the same way. We'll write the integral, uh, this time we'll write it as the real part of a complex number. Real part of e to the negative x over 2 plus 1, and uh, we'll extend this a bit to become cos 3x plus 1 plus i sine of 3x plus 1 dx. And now we can simplify a little bit. The inside will become e to the negative x over 2 plus 1 times e to the 3x plus 1 i um, dx. And then we can simplify this even more. Um, so we'll pull the real part outside of the integral. So the real part of the integral, and then we'll do this multiplication. So that's e to the, uh, let's group the x terms to get negative a half plus three i x plus one plus i dx. And so now we can actually do the integral. So that's the real part of one over negative a half plus three i times e to the negative a half plus 3i x plus 1 plus i. Um, 
and plus our constant of integration at the end. Um, so now let's we just have to simplify the inside and then take the real part. Uh, so let's let's do that. Let's simplify the inside. So that's the real part of um, let's make it all over negative a half plus three i and then this term right here we had earlier um, that was just written as this so we can write that as just what we had before that becomes e to the negative x over 2 plus 1 times cos of 3x plus 1 plus i sine of 3x plus 1 and um, then we still have our plus c at the end and then we're going to get the uh, denominator to become real so we need to multiply by the conjugate which is negative a half minus 3i on top and bottom and then multiplying by the conjugate uh, will bring our results up over here we get the real part of um, so we've got e to the negative x over 2 plus 1 times, um, we'll just do this multiplication, negative a half times both of these is negative a half cosine of 3x plus 1, and then minus a half i sine 3x plus 1. And then the minus 3i part becomes negative 3i cosine 3x plus 1 plus 3 sine of 3x plus 1 and that's all over let's turn this down a little bit that's all over um, the difference of squares so negative a half squared is a fourth and then minus 3i squared turns into plus 9 okay so now we just need to pick out the real parts here so the real parts are that uh, negative a half cos and the three sine part and we'll keep those so we end up with e to the negative x over 2 plus 1 times negative a half cos 3x plus 1 plus 3 sine of 3x plus 1 and that's all over adding these two fractions we get 37 over 4 and now we'll just make it a little bit simpler um, so this is 4 over 37 times e to the negative x over 2 plus 1 um, times um, times negative a half cos 3x plus 1 plus 3 sine 3x plus 1 plus our constant of integration and that is our final solution to the original integral as we will see often in the future using complex numbers can often help us bypass many computations that would otherwise be needed to evaluate complicated expressions